Hi, I'm Alex from Mesosphere, and I'm a member of a team that works on adding quota to Mesos. So quota is actually a vague term, so what we understand under quotas is the minimum is a guarantee for resources that your framework, or actually the role, will get anyway, given that we have enough resources in the cluster. So imagine the following scenario. You have two frameworks in the different roles in your cluster, and one framework as your production framework, the other one does some um, data processing that is not really needed for your production services. And your production framework gets an offer, it uh, declines the offer, this offer goes to the other framework, the other framework will accept all offers, all offers that it can get. And then you may end up in a situation when your first framework needs some resources, but there are no resources in the cluster left. And two things that you can do, you can either kill your, the other framework so to free up resources or wait when the, uh, the other framework will free these resources and they will be offered to your first production framework. Of course, this is not desirable for all, uh, for some um, real world scenarios and uh, there are some workarounds that you can use like static reservations or dynamic reservations on particular Mesos agents, but they lack flexibility. They may be difficult to maintain to update the uh, to update the quota, and then we decided to, okay, we need something that will give us, or actually the users, the operators, that guarantee. So what actually quota means? As I said, quota is a guarantee. Given we have enough resources in the cluster, we guarantee that your role will get these resources. Next thing, the quota is not per framework, but per role, which means that you set this guarantee for a role, which can be a set of framework. It's done so in order to stay in line with dynamic reservations mechanism and to be able to use um, weights that are attached not to frameworks but to roles. Next thing is that quote is not a cooperative mechanism. Now um, the built-in allocator which I think 99% of you are using is DRF based uh, which, uh, which is a fair sharing and quota goes before fair sharing. So first we satisfy all quotas and then if there are some resources left we use the DRF mechanism in order to distribute the rest of resources to between frameworks with quota or frameworks without quota. There are several challenges in implementing quota, like should it be one number, should, should we support chunks, which means if I have, if I would like to reserve 10 CPUs, in what form these 10 CPUs should be reserved? Should they come from one particular agent or should I get f uh, five CPUs from two different agents? So. These questions, these questions may be important for some frameworks. For example, for a framework like a data storage framework that wants to um, that wants to have their tasks running on different agents, though the task itself may not that big. Or it can be important uh, for other f type of frameworks that would like to they have bigger tasks, and for them they're important to have a bigger chunk of resources. They um, won't be able to run their task on resources smaller than say X, and they if they reserve quota for two X, they would really like to get not three offers but just two offers, and the size should be at least of X. We're working on MVP now. There is a design doc shared on the dev list. So if you're interested in this, if you think that that's something you may would like to use or you have any ideas how, you, how we can improve that, I would encourage you to grab the, dev, the Mesos dev list, find the design doc, read it, command, get in touch with us. If, you, if you're fast enough, then maybe we will get this change into MVP. If not, then we'll get it later, if it makes sense. And I'm pretty sure that the original, the, the approach that we will converge to will be slightly different to what we have now. So if you see something in design doc that you don't like, don't worry, we will, we will get there. And we still have 45 seconds in case we have any questions. Okay, then you can get 40 seconds back to back of your life. 